Hello and welcome to this thing. Alright, today I have a world generator for you and I just kind of wanted to show you step by step how I do it. So, the first step I have here is I put down a bunch of stone or rock tiles and that just sets up the base of the world generator, just the bottom. And the next step is to have the hills or the, the terrain. And to do that, I put circles onto the world to stack them up and it ends up making kind of hills like this. So as you can see we kind of have our hills and mountains. The next step is to have the water, and the water is pretty simple. I just pick a spot and that would be the water level, and I just fill up any empty block below that water level. So then you can have, um, yeah islands and stuff over here so there's that then the next thing I do in a world generator is I put mines and caverns into it which is essentially just picking a point out in the uh, space above the land and zigzagging I guess uh, mines around and sometimes the mines can go through a mountain and make holes in it or uh, sometimes floating islands, which a lot of people like in Minecraft. So, here they go. Alright, sometimes they can uh, get rid of the uh, land around the water, so it kind of makes the water look like it's floating, but make sure not to have the water get cut by the mines too. And there's a giant hole through that mountain. But yeah, that's the mines. And the next step is to add dirt and grass. So all that is, is any point where there is a uh, rock right above here, you put on a couple layers of dirt, you replace the last couple layers of rock with dirt and then put um, grass on top, and optional flowers and pigs as I did. You'll see that in a few seconds too. And after this, yep, yeah. so that looks pretty cool, gives a lot of texture and there it is you can see the pigs over here and the flowers all right and then the last step is to add trees which would just be picking any point with grass and putting a tree atop so uh, that's the last step and steps after that could include um, structures like villages or whatever else that your world generator might have and then you're done so here's the trees coming up in a second. There they are. And that's the finished build generator. Uh, as for the renderer here, um, the 3D thing I'm using, uh, I just made that. It's not very practical, but it's it was good for the job because you can actually see it in 3D. Um, I won't get into how I did that. So, well, thanks for watching. Bye.